Hey guys, so whenever me and Spike go to Petrolia, we always stop at Tim Hortons. Hey puppy! And we get him a Timbit and then myself an iced coffee. So I'm just gonna leave you guys right here because I wanna show you what it looks like when he eats it. It's so funny. Um, yeah, so we're just like hanging out for the weekend. We're gonna go get a workout in. Um, I just finished uploading the first or the fourth video. So thanks so guys so much guys if you guys are watching this um, It's been pretty cool just trying to get the hang on this because it's kind of weird videotaping things Like going to Tim Hortons. You're like, I don't even know if people will care about this, but We'll see what happens. So thank you. Um, a lot of the times too guys we were talking about um, I did an Instagram post just talking about like being supportive with people when they're trying to lose weight um, So if you have like friends or family and I just want to touch on this again Just so like I hit like everyone um, if you have friends or family that are trying to lose weight and you're that person That's always like hey, let's get fries. Let's eat out. Let's do whatever. That's awesome But please be respectful of their goals, right? Like even though you don't have the same goals as them It doesn't mean that their goals are less important to them. So by you putting that in front of them, it actually is creating a roadblock if they are just starting off because it can be super hard to basically ignore the temptations or the cravings that you're having. So if you can do anything, he's so excited for the Timbit, oh my god, he's so cute, hi. Um, if you can do anything, like ask them what they want or ask them what they need um, and that way they're making the decision like yes or no I want it as opposed to just showing up with it. Um, because a lot of time, like, you, know, you show up for pizza, you're like, wow, I got dinner, right? And it's like, well, they're trying to lose 20 to 40 to 50 pounds, right? So maybe pizza is not the greatest idea to show up with. Maybe you should have asked first, right? So just being a little bit more considerate that way can go a long way. And I'm sure they'll really appreciate it. Hi, Spike. Okay, so, the person in front of me is taking forever. <laughs> Okay guys, so it's time for the Timbit, I think. The people in front of us took forever, and that's fine, but oh, I'm so excited. Hi, how are ya? Good, would you guys call me no basic milk? Yes, please. And can we also get a Timbit for the dog, please? Sure. Thank you, he's so excited. He always knows when we're here. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Have a good day. Okay, ready, Spike? Ready? <laughs> oh, is that your treat? Okay, ready, Spike? Sit. Ready? No, it's not gonna work. Okay, is that yours? So normally what he does is he'll grab the Timbit out of my hand and then he will go like, and <laughs> he'll like go to the back and eat it. So I don't know what the heck happened today. I think he knows he's on camera, but anyways, that's Spike eating a Timbit. One, two, three. I've been running from the pain, trying not to feel the same, but it's a shame that we ain't sick again. Hey guys, so I wanted to do a little haul with you. I just received a whole bunch of supplements from Nutraphase. So I wanted to go over them with you and explain like why I got them and how I'll be using them over the next few weeks during my cut. So the first one is EAAs. EAAs, I love these because they're all eight of the you know, acids that you need, sorry, <laughs> essential amino acids that you need. Uh, BCAAs are great too, but they only have like, BCAAs have the three, this has the eight. So I just like it because it's more complete. Again, Nutriface always uses like quality ingredients um, and there's not like a lot of artificial crap. Like I guess there's like some of it, but it's just not as um, filtered and processed as a lot of the other brands out there. So I really was happy that I got these and this is the fruit punch flavor. Um, I also got pre-workout because I'm super tired lately. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm exhausted like all the time. So when I go to work out at night, I find that I do need a little bit of caffeine. Um, and the nice thing is, is like there's no artificial colors or sweeteners or flavors or anything in this. Um, so I was really excited to try that as well. Um, I have had the other flavor in this, but this is the white grape and I was really pumped to try it. So they're nice enough to send me this flavor too. And I think there's like yeah there's 200 milligrams of caffeine in it so golden and there's beta alanine which i was super pumped about um the next thing that i got 
was BCAAs. So just to change it up, I like the EAAs like during the day and like before and during workouts and that kind of thing. But it is nice to change it up and the BCAAs now come in this like rainbow candy flavor. So I do want to try it. So although like I do prefer the EAAs, the BCAAs are also amazing. Um, and these guys also have like L-glutamine and L-citrulline. So I was really excited about the glutamine um, because I've been taking that separately. So now I can just take it with these guys and it tastes better. <laughs> The next thing I got was plant-based protein. I wasn't sure if this was, I got whey protein and plant-based protein. Um, so I have like re a really sensitive uh, digestive system, I guess, or like system, not to be like gross, but um, so plant-based is normally the one that I go with. Um, now this is the vanilla because it goes really well in smoothies. And I believe there is, yep, 22 grams of protein in this and three grams of fat, six grams of carbs. So I, it's a little bit um, higher on the carbs and the fat sides, but it fits in my macros and I'm super excited because it tastes really good and it's a very clean based protein. So um, I don't mind sacrificing like a few carbs. Like I know people are crazy about that, but um, I think it's worth it. So the next thing that I got was New Zealand made protein. So just good old fashioned uh, New Zealand made protein. Again, New Zealand way guys is way more, um, I guess like it's way more regulated. So as Canada has like stricter laws than the US, New Zealand has like really, really, really strict laws. So what happens is you normally have like a lot of like clean, like unfiltered products that come from there because the regulations are so high. So I was really excited to try this. And again, the vanilla flavored because I love mixing it in with my smoothies. Um, this one has 129 calories, one gram of fat, five grams of carbs and 28 grams of protein. So definitely a little bit higher on this end, but you tend to find that with the whey protein as opposed to the plant-based. So just to switch it up between the two um, and that way I can kind of take a break from whey when I need it and go back and forth. Um, they're also super nice and they got me these clean fats. So basically these are the peanut, peanut butter cups guys. So I have a really hard time getting my fats in, which like, I don't know, I feel like that's a weird thing. Most people can get their fats in and it's like their carbs that they're like, oh my gosh, I have like a hundred grams of carbs left at the end of the day. I can eat carbs, so I'm like blue in the face, but I have a really hard time hitting my fat goal, even if it's like 50, if, if, even if it's like 50 grams. So these are 190 calories. These are 14 grams of fat. These are 16 grams of carbs, and then they have about eight grams of protein or so, seven grams of protein in these. So just like a quick snack um, so that if at the end of the day or like even at the beginning or during the day, I have um, macros that I have to hit and I tend to go for carb-based meals. So if I'm missing those fats, sub out with one of these, or if you guys are on keto, these are awesome as well. They're a new product and they're the peanut butter flavor. So I do recommend these as well because they're pretty cool. So the last thing I got guys was greens and berries. So I like that there was a combo of both uh, just because I find the greens are a little bit strong. So the berries help to balance it out. This is the orange flavor, which is my favorite. Um, and they just have so much stuff in them. So look at this all the way around there. I don't know if you can see that, <laughs> but um, yeah, so I really like it. And especially because they have uh, like the watermelon and there's a few other things that I'm actually allergic to. Um, so I can't consume it because I'm allergic to like how it's processed, but because it's a powder form, I can eat it. So with this being super unprocessed, it's just awesome because um, I'm still able to get my greens and my berries and that kind of thing in without going and blowing up. So it's awesome. Cute. Just a video. Oh, it's a video. Yeah, it's a video. Why? Because so, then I can pick it because then it's based on you. Like, okay, so I'm going to do this. Uh -huh. Save your She's chill. throwing okay. shit. Okay, so I'm gonna do this, and then I need you to put that on top of this. Hey guys, so starting off with the workout. So I started my workout off with back squats. I just wanted to see how everything felt. I've been doing a lot of activation work lately. Um, so I went right into the movement just because everything was feeling good. And we did four sets of around eight to 10 reps. I actually got up to 45 pounds a side this time, which was really awesome. So my strengths increased quite a bit over quarantine and actually throughout the last year. Uh, so that's where we're starting for these guys and then moving into the next exercise. The second exercise I did was pull-ups. So I've been working on my banded pull-ups. Um, I did three sets of eight to 10 of these as well and really focusing on driving up through the lats. So when you start doing pull-ups, you really wanna make sure that the lats, so right underneath your armpits are engaged and then at the top, you're really pulling through. Um, with that being said, just watch to make sure that your shoulders don't pop up because a lot of the times our traps, which are right by our neck, like to lead. So just be mindful of that. 
So the next thing I did was stationary lunges. So I'd like to do all the compounds and then as I mentioned, unilateral exercises after. So this is still a compound and it burns a lot of calories. We did four sets of eight to 10 of these guys and basically just focusing on squeezing the glute and driving up each time. Make sure that the knees are staying in line with your foot so they're not wobbling all over the place and then switching back. So the only thing with the barbell guys is just make sure that you're uh, keeping your shoulders dropped down and you're not holding all the weight by your neck, like you're really dropping them down and engaging your, your back muscles. But we did four sets of eight to 10 and yeah. As always, here are my band walks. <laughs> so I didn't do them as a activator this time. This time I did them as more of like a burnout. So after doing those exercises, I use this as just more of like a fatigue method. So doing three sets of 15 per side and yeah. Part of my burnout set, these again, we did three sets of 20 on either side, but basically what you wanna do is you wanna squeeze and put your toe out facing away from you. And then when you come back in, you're rotating your toe so that it kind of reaches your heel. This is just gonna help better activate the glutes. And uh, it just is a really, really good burn after doing those other exercises. So I'd like to kind of just make sure that everything's fired up properly with these. And if I feel everything as much as I should on these, then I know that I've done them right. Um, so again, coming up to the side, and then you just make sure that your toe is kind of reaching back towards your heel. So I added a resistance band to my bent over rows, and this just helps with the tension on the way up and the way down. So just kind of mimicking a cable machine, and I did three sets of eight to 10 on these. Super started the bent over rows with upright rows, and I just did three sets of 10 to 12 of these guys just to burn out the shoulders. And again, just focus on working the shoulders and try and keep the traps out of it as much as possible. Next I did some isolation work. So for the lateral raises, I'll start in between and then I'll kind of tilt my pinky up and that just helps to reach the side delt a little bit more than just normal conventional lateral raises. So just a tip you guys can try. And it's three sets of eight to 10 on these. Sometimes I'll do 12 if the weight's a little bit later, but that's what we're looking at for those. I try and hold for about a second at the top just to get a little bit more of a pull. And just make sure that you're pulling away from the body as opposed to like lifting upwards because you'll get more traps and shoulders. So just a little tip. So mid workout, Mike was very kind and came over to talk to me, but the thing was that he was in the middle of my camera. So then he decided to take advantage of it and do a little dance for you guys. So I decided to incorporate it into this video because he was goofing around and it was super funny. And uh, yeah, it was, it was hilarious. So I thought he was done. So I started again, but then he did a crab walk and then he did the touch a slide and you know everything else continued on with shoulder press sorry for the crappy lighting guys four sets of six to eight and i really like to just make sure i'm nice and slow on these to uh yeah just make sure that i'm working that muscle extra hard i really like shoulder press and i find they do make a big difference back to the workout sometimes what I'll do is either as an activator or as a finisher I'll do this little shoulder combo here so basically 10 to 12 lat raises which hit like the side of your shoulder then I'll do front raises which hit the front of your shoulder and then I'll do um, rear delt flies which hit like the back of your shoulder so the rear delt um, 10 to 12 like I said of all of these and normally like three sets or so just to either warm up or to just completely burn them out if you're doing a burnout I do suggest just going as fat like basically until you can't and um, yeah don't really worry too much about the rep range <laughs> 